Welcome to Always Open. I'm your host, Barbara Dunkelman. On today's episode, we're going to be given shots by Texas. Woo! Woo! Number right one now. bartender. We're going to be talking about the weirdest place you've had sex, uh, a confession from an anonymous user, and an ex and I are trying again at a relationship after three years. So we're going to be taking advice, or giving advice, rather. Taking advice. And taking advice from each other. We'll take yeah. it. We're giving and taking on the show. Uh, all with me today... I have some very lovely people that I'm so happy that are joining me this episode. Starting with... Hi everybody, I'm Max. <laughs> Max Cookie. That's his real name. It's my real name. And real voice. And I am not a soft boy trying to look like a hard boy. <laughs> I am 100% tough, so that's who I Opposite am. Opposite of a dough boy. Not at all doughy. <laughs> very tough. Hey guys, I'm Tyler. <laughs> uh, Softy at heart. Man, I'm happy to be on the show today. <laughs> and it's me. And Meryl. And your family neighborhood mirror. <laughs> Love it. Uh, we have uh, two of the manliest men in Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Of course. Max and Meryl. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. <laughs> it's a real, real pleasure. Oh, this is great. Tyler here. Yeah. All right, what is well, this? We're gonna, what did you say about this shot before? Oh, it, it, I feel like I'm going to poop Smurfs. After this, it's all look at it. It's it so smells good. good. It, looks Ooh. good it looks like a Scooby snack, someone said. All right, well, this is the blue eyed blonde, Wink. and it was submitted by I hope I pronounced this right Retum B. Retum B. Well, thank you. And it consists of blue Curacao, which apparently someone said I said yeah, wrong. They were dogging on you in the comments. Oh, Curacao is an island, Cur what? it's Curacao you, or right? a country. How do you pronounce it's Curacao. this? It's Curacao. Curacao. Texas? Did you say Curacao? Survey no, says Curacao. 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 Whatever. Uh, it has Curacao. that. Fine. People are dying. <laughs> preoccupy yourself. Preoccupy yourself. Preoccupy. With more, yeah. with more important things. Think about other things. <laughs> but it has that and Irish creams. And it's called the Blue-Eyed Blonde. So cheers to you, Retome B. And cheers. Shout out. Ew. Boom. Boom. Oh, boom. No. Oh, boom. One more. One more. Okay. How is it, guys? Is it good? Yeah, it's good. I love when Meryl judges if it's good before she drinks it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't is it like good? To dive like you're in. not going to take it? You're like, I mean, I'll still it. take it, but like I like that. to prepare myself. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, it was good. It tastes almost like a, it's like a blue milk. <laughs> like a blue, blue milk. milk? Like I don't know milk. what a blue milk is, it's but it does taste thing. like that. Oh, it's not. I just made oh, it you on your dairy farm know yeah. all the different types of milk? Blue milk. You made a dairy farm? What? Yeah. We've talked about this. I know we have, but we need to go in further. All right, so we're going to start things off with a little icebreaker called Two Truths and a Lie. Okay. No, Two Lies and a Truth. Yes. I already fucked it up. I fucked up our own game. It's fine, you're drunk. I know. I, Shh, that one she shot. Has a problem. No. Like a okay. really big That's problem. That's actually why we brought you on, Max, to talk. Is that yeah. why you are all here? Yeah. Um, we're your friends. Well, why don't you start then, Max, since you so graciously <laughs> offered. What are um, your two lies and a truth? Okay. And we're going to have to guess which is the truth. Which is the truth. Uh, I will say that I live on a ranch. Currently. I will say that um, I have beautiful hair like Mariel's. <laughs> and I will say that uh, I love jelly beans. Huh. <laughs> One of those is true? Well, I mean, Can your hair is very nice. Yeah, there. but is it have Mariel we, level? Have we seen all of your hair, know. though? Give us a little flip. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yeah. you just, it looks so good on you. Oh, and it's baby. so natural. Man. Sometimes when you're nice to text, he'll give you a little bit of Mariel's hair. Oh, yeah. A little zhuzh. Dude, <laughs> little man, you whip secret. that tip right there. Mm. Where is it? Whip Where is that it? tip. <laughs> whip that tip. That makes it move just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's going to hit me in the face. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about me. Whip the tip. Your oh, tip? It's going to make your... Whoa! Tyler tip was is whipping. really excited to be on the show today. <laughs> very, <laughs> very excited. Whoa. Hmm. I'm going to say your truth is the jelly beans. You really like jelly beans. I actually don't like jelly beans. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you don't like fruity things. I think he's hiding in plain sight. I think it's the ranch. Yeah. No, it's the ranch. For it's sure. the ranch. It's you live on a ranch? I, I thought do. you didn't live on it yet. I live there sometimes. <laughs> Tell me more. 
Hi. <laughs> Where is this ranch? Uh, out in Bastrop. I love Bastrop. Well, let's go. I mean, Come it on. did burn down to the ground. It was very sad. Not our part. But, I mean, it's beautiful out there. Beautiful. You should go live, real pretty. live on the farm with him. I'm yeah. going to go work the fucking land. Dude, I would go work See? the land. I <laughs> love <laughs> oh, hard I'm farm I'm there. Work. What do you think I do? I'm going to work yeah. the fucking land. Work that land. Oh, he's a real good boy. I am a good I'm You a got real good Texas pecs. Boy. Your pecs look great. Yeah, your pecs do look great, man. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you make them dance like that. Okay, so cattle, farm, yes. whatever. Ranch. Or ranch. Cattle. What's yes. the difference between ranch and a farm? Farm, you like raise veggies. Ranch, you raise animals. Yep. Oh, I've only heard farm. I never hear the word ranch. That's I like started calling it a farm, and then I was quickly corrected as to like. No, no, mm. city boy. And ranch also, to me, also signifies like lots of acreage. Mm -hmm. Very big. Yeah. Or not so much. It's fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm going to start a farm in my apartment. <laughs> right, Let's do it. No size requirements. <laughs> yeah. You Find just come fun. in and your living room is just all dirt. So these are my two lies and a truth. Okay. I have to remind myself okay. every time. They're sexual related. Oh, They're not okay. so much jelly bean and farm. It's going to be one of those okay. kind of shows. Mm. All right. Uh-oh. All, right. All, right. All right. I have to think about the three word again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, once, I once got a hickey on my cheek. Gross. That was visible for about three days. Ew. I fingered a girl at a college party. Ooh, I hope that's true. <laughs> and I once helped another girl give another guy a hand job. Hmm. God, I hope the second. I, I don't think it's true, but I want it to be true because I feel like we've had a conversation. Yeah, I, I feel like, like we've heard like about the second one because I'm not that kind of person at all. I don't like to explore, but I like I like to hear when other people do it. <laughs> Just to live vicariously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very PG. I mean, they're all very exploratory. I think the I know cheek, which one it is. The cheek one is a little like so. Uh, I had a friend, an, an acquaintance in high school who came to school one day and she had a hickey on her forehead because her, her boyfriend thought it would be funny. <laughs> Your skin is so thin up there. How did that happen? Who thought that was a good I know. idea? Stuck it on like, someone's forehead. No, it, they're literally, they were, they were the worst people. They're still together, actually, so maybe, you know, it's a good way to make You find the right Does one. Does she have bangs um, now? So wait, you're trying to cover up, like, was it, like, right in the middle? Yeah, no, it was like, <laughs> no, like... she literally had, like, one here and then, like, one here. No. It was just, like, the weird, and it wasn't like a, they were, like, Oh, it just got real hot and heavy. He was like, I'm going to do this to embarrass you. And I was like, you're kind of a shitty oh, boyfriend. What a shit. Um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think it's the hickey one because I feel like it would take longer than three days for that to go away. I think, again, you're hiding in plain sight, and I think it's the last one. I think, I think you helped somebody give the a guy one. a hand job. I'll go with that one, even though I want it to be the second one. You guys are right. Woo! Yeah. yeah. You I, tell uh, us more, you nasty. So I once went on a trip. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I went on a trip with a bunch of friends. This was when I was recently single. And it was a weird hotel room where we had one giant, it must have been like a California king. It was a huge bed and one queen bed. So the couple who we were with shared the queen bed. And me, this guy, and this girl shared this king bed. And uh, arrangement before you go for it. Was it a, a girl, guy, guy sandwich? Yes. Okay, guys in the middle, two girls on the outside. Yes. Okay. One guy. One guy. Mul not multiple guys. No, yeah, two girls. Sorry, two, <laughs> two girls and one Whoa. guy in the middle. Yeah. How many people were here? And like, me and the girl never interacted because the guy was in between us. But like, he would like do stuff with me, and then he'd turn over and do stuff with her. And then Put like a little finger up his butt when he pants was came down, <laughs> and like she started doing stuff to him, and I started doing stuff to him, and then like. Both of us started doing stuff to him at the same time. At Were the same you, time. Was it like a, it was a like this? Yeah. It was like so this that much. there was enough to it work with. It was like with there. somewhere on the the, the balls, so somewhere on the shaft. He was dropping dong. He had oh, nice, yeah, yeah, a nice yeah. size peen. Uh, it was fine. It was an average. I I had she had little baby hands and I had normal size. Oh, they're like my hands, Barbara. If we went to town, I'm, we could share. <laughs> I mean, we were talking about you something before days. the show. I could use some help with. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's that's what, for some help with your baby for hands? another show. Yeah, yeah. I need Barbara. I need tiny hands because it makes mine look so much bigger. <laughs> Barbara, you're a freak. Yeah, yeah, this was a. That's awesome. I've had like little moments in time in my life where I'm just like I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Question. I did it actually. I did, did anything crazy. else? How, how, what was the what was the climax of that? Yeah. Did he finish? Yeah. Did. did I think so. I was very out of it. I wasn't <laughs> drunk. It was just kind of like in the middle of the night when we were all kind of You'd half like asleep. Passed out and woken up. Yeah. And like, I remember also she had her top off at one point and I was like, this girl's got nice tits. So like, <laughs> oh, I remember oh. admiring them and, and being a little jealous. And? And nothing happened. Then we all fell asleep. <sighs> well, give me something to work with. Yeah. Pretty, I think he must have finished because otherwise we fell asleep at one point and I'm like, you, you would have known. I yeah. mean, sometimes when I'm really tired and I finish and I don't want to get up to the bathroom to clean myself off, I'll, 
I'll do the bed sheet rub just kind of get. You no. do. Sometimes you do. Amy, Why? Amy, Amy Schumer has a really great joke about a guy finishing where it's just like, he's like, you ready? You ready for my cum, baby? And she's like, yeah, give it to me. And then it's just like, <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> is this like, like Mario's like horror movie? Like, it's, it's just... It depends. Like the older you get, like I would say, like for me, this is always open. It's not as strong as it used to be. But when I was fourteen, <laughs> yeah. What, the I show was, isn't as strong as it used to be? No, he's like, no, his, your cum no, 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 no. shot <laughs> my, my, my cum Fucking shot. explain that. Hey, come on, you know my ejaculation. Oh, right? yeah, of course, yes, yes. When I was 14, I was, uh, I was up oh, in Chicago seeing right a there. friend, and I was sleeping on the couch. I was, yeah, 14. And I was jacking off. Wait, you were traveling at 14 to Chicago? Yeah, my buddy moved up there, so I went up there to go see him. Okay. Yeah. That's not the part of the fucking story people want to hear. They want to hear about me jerking it on I'm the couch in. I'm in a living room. Taking notes. So like I'm jerking off and I'm I'm very I'm laying down on the couch and I'm jerking off and you know 14 you're f filled with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hit me on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like wow, right that's there. The far it distance. Is a, wow. That was the farthest distance I've ever had in my life. It was unbelievable. Wow, you I must don't have been want, really horny. And I thought that was what it was always going to be like. And now it's not. Then you get older and everything sucks. I don't want to challenge that, but I, I did go further. <laughs> What? How I got do a, a hair flip. I got a... <laughs> Did it work? It didn't work. Side. I can't really feel it. <laughs> Not used to having long hair. Uh, no, I got a, a, a handy in a car at church camp. And uh, it hit the roof. Oh my god. It hit the roof, roof of the car? No. Wow. Are you serious? What type but of car are we like, talking about? But I was like, this was like when I was like 16 or 17. You're so, like, like one of those whales with the blowholes. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Brrr. That must have been a really good <laughs> hand would, job. It was. Dangerous, Shit. Honestly. Yeah. But, uh, so you got that guy's number? It was it was actually a lady. <gasps> what? Max. No gender. Four. Did you know? It's true. <laughs> All hands are the same gender. Manuel or Manuela? Yeah. Yeah. Either one works. That's my dad's name. That's really weird. Manuela. Manuela. Yeah, yeah that's his name. It's really weird. Your his dad's a, awesome. his dad his name ends with an A? No, his name is Manuel. Oh, Manuel. Manuel. Um. So mine are. <laughs> you gonna beat the high score? Of of cum shots? Yeah. How high? High? No. Have you no, squirted she's far? She's supposed to tell us her two lies and a yeah. truth. How's uh, the farthest you? What's the furthest you've squirted? No, that's not a thing. That's not like a thing everyone does. No, 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 no. It's a thing. No, it's not. Oh, it's a thing. Okay, it's just a thing that you think everyone does. I've it's not okay. A thing. I there's got been it. some times where I'm just mm -hmm. like, there's stuff trickling down my leg, or just like, but you or like, have you ever gotten up after finishing? Did things the and like, way. Yeah. you like you like spread your legs apart and it's just like spider webs. Oh my god. Yes, I've ruined bed sheets. You know, it. I always try and stay off of these episodes when they get so explicit. Oh, oh my come goodness! The fuck off. Yeah, we came right out of the gate with I this know. one. No pun, I know intended. pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. For this. Oh. Um, that has never happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Just, one of your lies? I know. <laughs> yeah, so it happens every time. Um, so no. Okay, going back to my two lies and a truth. Um, I once competed in Fear Factor. Um, I was a part of a talent slash like yeah talent search at a mall once. Um, and uh, girl, I don't need any more. <laughs> <laughs> is the way this episode's going. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I was like, here we go. Like, uh, there's there's a little bit more. Whiskey. I'm um, who's coming, guys? Oh my god! Please don't. <laughs> please don't. Um, okay, so uh, Fear Factor talent model search, and I've nearly drowned five times in my life. Five times. I mean, like the first. Three times you think you would have just avoided a body of water. Right, so I'm, I'm going to say that that one I don't. I love not to really swim. On. Fear Factor. I love to swim. Like you participated <laughs> in Fear Factor as in you were on the show Fear Factor. I don't know. Was I? <laughs> uh, I feel like I would have seen a screen grab. So I'm going to go. A screen grab. Although knowing Mariel and like her, she used this lie last time where she competed in like the Little Miss Dairy pageant. Little Miss Dairy Princess. So I feel like she's just like going for that angle with all her lies. I'm going to say you almost drowned five times. Okay. I'm gonna say the second one. What was the second one? The oh, talent. Show. You don't even remember that, so mm. I'm changing my answer <laughs> to the first one. What was the first one? Fear factor. Because mm. I want it to be true. Mm. I feel like I should know you, because uh, <laughs> we hang out a lot. <laughs> we don't. Uh, damn, I don't know. I guess I gotta go with drowning. Why would the fuck would you drown five times? Get out Almost of the fucking drowned. water. Almost drowned. Why? Who's letting you near water? Um, actually, it was. There's this. Uh, place in New Mexico called Bottomless Lakes, 
and I almost drowned there. Um, Five times. Once. Once. Oh. Um, no, Fear Factor. So it's not the whole truth. But uh, at Universal Studios in Florida, they have like a whole Fear, Fear Factor, Factor Live. Fear Factor Live. I was, on, I was on Fear Factor What did Live. you have to do? Um, I had to eat this like shake that they made. And it was like, you would think that like they faked that shit. But no, it was real. It was like old, I would think it was like old meat, bugs, and like... Um, like rotten fish or something. Like, like something a, that probably could have killed Sounds them. like our extra life stream. <laughs> Basically. No, that's exactly what it was. And so we actually won. And all I got, literally all I got was a fucking cup that said Fear Factor Live on it. I was that's so it? fucking pissed. You didn't you get to like actually it? go on the show or I, I, No, it wasn't like, it was nothing. It was just like, come eat this disgusting shake under a minute. And if you beat the other fucking schmucks that we got to do it, you get a cup. And it's like, haha. We tricked you. Yeah. We actually hate you. Yeah. That's like, you couldn't even give me, like, tickets to come back. Did you get to meet Joe Rogan? That's who yeah. hosted it, right? Joe Rogan? Uh, was it Joe Yeah, Joe Rogan yeah. hosted it. That was, like, his So did you even get a picture or anything? I got nothing. Like, I got nothing. I have, like, bad pictures. So you could be time. lying to us. No, no, no. It's true. I, I have my cup somewhere. If I can... Find I'll, the cup. I'll, bring it back to us. Yeah. I'll see if my mom still has it. I feel like just, like, a random man made her eat that shit. Yeah, I know. It's like a hobo on the street. I'm my cup. Be on the fear Give me this thing. It's just, like, etched in. It was a bad Back alley in Orlando, I just blacked Jesus. it out. Yeah. Um, but no, it was at Universal Studios. And I actually went back, um, I don't, I can't remember if they have it anymore. I think they I might still No, they do, still they do show? actually. I think they, they still do have actually. it. Yeah, yeah I, I was just I, there. I went in November and I, yeah, that's what it was. I remember mm -hmm. passing by and being like, you? Never again. Yeah. They, so they're still it. doing the same they're still, thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't do it, I'll get the cup. <laughs> it's not worth it. Was it the cup that you had to drink stuff out of? No, it you was like... You get to keep the cup okay. you finish. It, they, like, blended it all, and it was it was me and my friend, his name is Isaac, and we were competing against this, like, father-daughter team, and both the guys had been, like, total bitches about it. Like, they were just like, eh, like, I can't drink it. And the daughter, the daughter was even younger than I was. She was just, like, fucking scarfing that shit down, so I was like, fuck, I gotta finish it before she does. <laughs> so I finished right before she did, and then, like, they then they just, like, measured which of the guys had finished the most, and, like, my guy had finished the most, so that's how we did it. Wow. Um, but it was... Very impressive. You're yeah, so tough. I, oh, yeah. Let me tell you how yeah. tough I am. I'm not. Do you not Do you need to buy a leather jacket? I might. I might take that one, actually. Do you want to finish a guy off with me? Like, yeah. <laughs> my baby hands. <laughs> with my baby hands and your hands. Put the hand down. <laughs> there's, there's nothing we can, couldn't accomplish. Yeah. Sure. We just finish it, finish it all. You've all. already touched me before. I have touched your little Tyler before mm. an accident. And I, I didn't touch your nanner space, but I did invade your personal you space did, the other day. But I loved it. Um, I still feel a little bit bad about this. Do you call it a nanner space? My nanner, nanner space. space. What, what are we talking? Are we talking like banana? Nanner? Okay, let no, me, like let me tell you. That's just like that's the area. Let me, let me set the scene for you. So we are at um, <laughs> Barbarella at uh, which is a nightclub it's a, here in Austin. It's a nightclub here in Austin. It's lots of fun. Um, and we are outside, and outside on Saturday nights they usually play like hip hop music, um, old school, like you know, <laughs> whatever. They said hip mom music. Hip, hip, mom, hip mom music. music you know, <laughs> fucking at the BGs and you know, whatever you want. Dancing. Uh, <laughs> Um, so we're out there, and this was the, the night of my birthday party, and um, everyone was just just balls to the wall, wasted. Can confirm. Yes, Shit Barbara. House. Meryl Jesus did. house would be the word. Meryl did yeah. a shot out of my belly button. That I did. I did. What? Oh my God. I wish we had pictures. I remember that. No one took any kind of proof. It's just a memory that you and it's I will just have forever. <laughs> I remember um, creeping on that. Would. That was fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So uh, You're so creepy today. Yeah, <laughs> no, you were extra. Creepy. At one point, I like we were outside, and I was just like super drunk, and I kept feeling like hands just like running down my back, and like giving me a little pat on the butt sometimes, and and I remember being like, oh, I know, like Laura's not with me; she's with her friends inside. So like, what's going on? And finally, I turn around, and it's just Max, and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, Max. <laughs> I know those hands. Well, and like no, I turned I probably now just as them. red as I turned now whenever we discuss it because like like whenever I get drunk, I am not a handsy drunk like at all except generally. With Mariel? Except apparently with Mariel. I'm hurt. Why don't you get handsy with me, man? Well, we'll see where we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But no joke, I'm pretty sure I danced with you that night. I'm pretty sure I got handsy with you. Yeah, I think <laughs> I'm not I remember, a handsy person except with everyone. With here. everyone else, it I might remember, have been you too. We don't wear. I was kind of cycloning around, and then I found my way into a group of dudes. And I remember you being there. I'm like, I don't know where I'm, but I'm gonna do it. Whatever, you know, I'm fun. Well, I'm here dancing. I'm a cool guy. I'm a cool guy. guy. <laughs> dance with other guys. You know, cool. Whatever. It's cool. It's not gay. I'm comfortable in my sexuality. It's fine if it's gay. I don't care. You know, I love gay people. Mm. How you much? Just, a lot. 
Okay. I thought you meant how much is it going to pay you. If you close your how eyes, it doesn't matter. Exactly. That is true. It's all yeah. the same. We've already established. Doesn't yeah. matter. And everybody, and everybody love everybody. Yeah. What, what you got, Tyler? Lay it on us. For uh, two two lies and a truth. Two lies and a truth. Um, I am six feet tall. <laughs> um, I have had sex with Mariel. This is going to be You're so easy. You're making it so obvious. There's a lot of people that think we fuck. <laughs> and uh, I've stopped an airplane. I guess you've stopped an airplane. <laughs> Probably stopping an airplane. Stopped an airplane. Actually, guys, <laughs> here on Always <laughs> Open, we're finally dun, dun, dun. revealing. Bum, I'm coming bum, out. <laughs> I want the world. <laughs> She just said, please get away from me. Don't <laughs> now that you know how far he could come. Yeah. Like, I'm not yeah, I, I, can't, I, can't come that, I can't come that far anymore. No. Maybe that's what once that you, song is about. Once you get to, like, yeah, like, 24, 25, it's, it's done. Yeah. They, should, uh, yeah. they should make a, yeah. a Top Golf for that. Because yeah, it's it, Top Golf all about a distance, like, how far yeah, you sometimes, can go. Sometimes. It should be an Olympic like, sport. You just sit on the edge of the Top Golf, and you're like, all right. Yeah, you have the same girl. Uh, there was. Like, Ready? <laughs> <laughs> There actually, funny you say that, there was a Japanese game show that it is. was a uh, how many times can you masturbate? And it was just like, I think it was like four or five Japanese guys, and they had help from women. They could do it themselves, or they had help from women. And it was how much, I think it was a mean? day, 24 hours, how many times you can masturbate. What do you mean by help from women? Like the women could help them physically do yeah, it? Yeah, like or a guy was there? jerking off, and if he got too tired, they could tag in and help him try and come. And it was how many times could you come in a day? And it was like grueling. Oh and uh, we're actually licensing that show. It's going to be a new <laughs> show here. I think I could you heard win it here first. that show. <laughs> you could, you could win that show. I just, like, I would lose. Yeah, that just sounds like way too up. much. It does. Oh, well, yeah. It sounds like torture after a certain. It's a lot of work. A certain point. Yeah. You guys are, you're just like, oh, like cookies are so good. I can only have a few. <laughs> Otherwise, it's too many cookies. Like that's the like, that's a real thing, it. though, Barbara. You can have too too many cookies. Everything in moderation. You can never have enough cookies if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Whoa. Until you start not feeling anything anymore. <laughs> and you're just like, I'm completely numb right now. Wait, I just, I couldn't. To I, cookies. Uh, yeah, to I was cookies. like, I lost where right, we were right, at right. this conversation. Because I, I can have one cookie. Maybe two cookies. I had 11 cookies one day. Is that your, have you ever gotten, what's like the close, second closest you've gotten to 11 cookies? 10 cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara. The day after. And nine cookies and eight cookies. Like every day is a new adventure. I haven't had cookies in like two weeks. <laughs> no cookies for me. <laughs> See, I, I've got Are you a, uh, getting blue cookies? It's, that's it's, not really a thing, to no. tell you the truth. Or I, I don't even know. I, I don't talk to my balls right? anymore. I don't, like, my dick hates me. Why are you like, involving your dick all of a sudden? We're it's it's just a, cookies. It's a constant struggle. Max so. cookie. Yeah. No, Max cookie. Oh, my God, it all comes full circle. <gasps> full oh. circle. But, yeah, no, I'm pretty boring. It's like it's like one cookie or a half cookie. Yeah. A day. So you <laughs> stopped a plane? Yeah, like, we'll start. And then yeah. Just, oh. oh, I stopped a plane. Oh, yeah, I stopped a plane. Wait, let's, I mean, we need oh. to hear this, right? Um, yeah, I was 16. I was coming back from a uh, trip from Europe, uh, one of those senior trips. Mm-hmm. Um, we were in JFK and I was on like a toothpick size airplane. So like only two seats or like two rows and like two seats on those rows. So okay. very, very <laughs> close quarters. And there was like no first class, no like anything. It was just everybody's on the plane. And I'm in the very first seat. Um, so we're taxing out. We're about to take off. And uh, I hear like this woman like start like crying behind me. So I turn around and there's a woman who's just bawling, just bawling. And she's reading this book. And I'm like, all right, must be a really good book. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't know what she's reading. <laughs> Bible. So I turn back around. <laughs> she probably was a Bible. Um, turn back around. Don't think anything of it. I'm like, it's, it's really weird, whatever. And so we keep taxing out. And then she does it again. I turn back around. And her eyes are in the back of her head. And she's going blue. So full on uh, seizure, basically, at this point. Why was she crying? No clue. So... The buddy I was with, we get up, we grab her pretty violently because we're just trying to get her on the floor and like get her to start breathing. And so like undo her belt, like we're trying to get spit out of her mouth. Like it's like it's just pooling up right there. Oh my God. Um, and at this point there was, I think there was like one stewardess on the plane. She finally had come around and I, I remember turning around saying, stop the plane. And then she, we, we did. We stopped the plane. Wow. But you're a hero. I wasn't a hero. Somebody else was going to no, do it. No, I mean, it. but you, you noticed her. Yeah. yeah well, I guess and so, you yeah. said stop the plane. I did say stop do the plane. Do a lot of people have, like, I want to get involved. You know, yeah, it's a like, bystander yeah. effect. I guess so, yeah. Awesome. I mean, my other group members helped out once they knew what was going on. But um, so it was crazy. The craziest thing is that 
again, this is post 9-11, so high alert for everybody. It took 30 minutes to get an ambulance out there. Oh, my God. So, like, 30 minutes for, like, you think a heart attack or anything else, like, you're dead. Yeah. Um, anyways, she finally comes to, and uh, the worst part, she had no idea what had happened. She oh, had no. no idea where she was. Has she ever had them before? Not that she knew of. Worst part was, I think she was South African, and she was on her way to visit her mother. Yeah, the worst part was she was If South you have African. seizures or you're epilep epileptic, yeah. you get put on a no-fly list. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. So she didn't get to go home and see her mom. Is what I imagine. I mean, because that's yeah. what they were telling Even us. Even if it was just that one time. Yeah. Damn. Because it was that bad. I mean, she was like choking on her own spit. That's so. terrifying. But it, it terrifies me that that could happen to anyone at any point. In time. Yeah, it really can. Yeah. Like, or brain aneurysm. Your brain could just yeah. be like, it's just like no. Yep. It's terrifying. Yep. I, like with no warning. Yep. My mom's. Uh, my mom had a friend or has a friend who, her son, um, literally died like mid football when he was like 16 years old, just like collapsed on the on the fle field. He had like a heart attack, and they did, had no idea that he had heart problems until that moment. Get Whoa. checked. I get checked like every six months. Blood work, everything. Wait, like just at a general. Yeah, I just go to regional clinic here in Austin. I get checked all the time. Damn, I need to do that more often. All I only the time. get my. Let's all go to the doctor after this. Let's all get should, checked. Should. Let's all go check. right now. Yeah. You don't know what you have. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's always to good out. to like hydrate and get enough rest. And wear condoms. Those are two very important <laughs> things. And you know what helps getting a good rest, Max? What What would it be? A good mattress. You know what? I've been considering purchasing a new mattress, but what would I do? Well, this episode of Always Open is brought to you by Casper, an online retailer of premium mattresses for a fraction of the price because everyone deserves a great night's sleep. You could get $50 off any mattress purchase by visiting casper.com open and enter the promo code open. Casper is revolutionizing the mattress industry by cutting the cost of dealing with resellers and showrooms and passing that savings directly to the consumer which could be you, Max. Do go on. I should have you here for all adverts. <laughs> Casper's mattresses are obsessively engineered mattresses at a very fair price. Casper is made of supportive memory foam for a sleep surface with just the right sink and just the right bounce. I got my new Casper mattress and tried it out, and it's extremely comfortable. I have the best night's sleep I've ever had in my entire life. It's also a king bed, which makes it even better. Uh, Casper offers free delivery and painless returns with a 100-day period. Casper's mattresses are made in the USA, and they have free shipping and returns to the U.S. and Canada. You could save an additional $50 towards a mattress purchase by going to casper.com slash open and entering the promo code open. That's casper.com slash open and promo code open. Terms and conditions apply. Well, I'll be buying beautiful. a king bed for... Me and Tyler, and then whoever and another girl whoever wants whoever. to join. I can't imagine two guys <laughs> on me at it, the same time. Is that not a dream? Logistically, a dream? it could work. I don't even know how that thing works down there, so it's, you'd be better I mean, off doing it yourself. There's the minora, the majora. There's the little man in the boat, and then there's the opening. I think there's a few other things there's in there that you're missing. In. <laughs> but whatever in there. That one know. opening. Wait, is, so is that not? Because I mean, I know most men probably fantasize about having two women, right? Like there are multiple women. Uh, I, not I, really. I fantasized about two men before. Yeah. I think the the thing that intrigues me about two men is just like having two people focusing on me. That's what's intriguing to me. Okay. When it's like so me what, what and another if, girl and a guy, it's like usually the two girls focus on the guy. What, what if they're both focused on you though? What if what was that? What would that be like? <laughs> It'd be interesting. Oh. It'd be very interesting. Oh. Although one of them doesn't have a penis, so I don't know. I I wouldn't know what to do with it. Did they both? I'd be like pop pop, give it a pop. <laughs> Did they both Whoop. have beautiful? Lots. Oh God, it's so <laughs> nice. This, this is the perfect, uh. the perfect time to segue into our uh, brand new segment, which is confessionals. Uh oh. So we actually pitched this, I think, on the episode with Gus. Yeah. For people to send in their confessions. Obviously, they're all anonymous, and we read them on the show, and talk about them. And then we judge you. And judge you. Really <laughs> and hard. then we take you to school. <laughs> 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 all right. So this confessional is obviously anonymous, and he writes, I enjoy having sex with my partner when they're in contact with their parent in some way. For instance, I had sex with one girlfriend on a sofa bed right behind her mom while she was on the computer, and I had sex with another girl while she was on the phone with her mom. 
This person. This is incredible. I know. <laughs> yeah. So like when we first, this is like what I imagined and it's so beautiful that it's come like full circle and it's just like, it's this, it's this thing that we had as an idea and now people are actually sending in their like. It's arrived. Fucked up shit. Yeah. Uh, and that's fucked up shit. I get it. And what? Re- no. Wait. Barbara. What? I'm sorry. I what? need to go get right with God. <laughs> I'm not, it's like. We are it's going not- to church right now. <laughs> Sorry, temple or uh, or temple. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Synagogue. Synagogue. Sorry. synagogue. synagogue. <laughs> I've already Whatever been there three is. times today. It's okay. I've okay. done my dues. Okay. The thing that I get about it, it's not the parent thing that I get. It's the doing something you're not supposed to be doing. It's it's evil. It's, but in okay, front okay. of like the mom is like the mom could easily it's be like, like oh uh, uh, it's like camera. camera. <laughs> what you, John, what are you doing back there? <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> Like it's just it's not why okay. Hear, why don't you hear a sustained quick <laughs> quick sound behind? Actually, you? I, you guys eating food back there? I, I'm with Barbara. Like I totally understand that. No, That's a lot of things. Guys. And hey, I'm you gonna lower your up. opinion of me. What? I've done that. You're disgusting. I want to hang out with you, whoever you are. Wrong. Maybe not, but I I can I can See, understand. But then okay, if Did it's so this? wrong, <laughs> was this you? If it's so wrong, then like find some friends or something to like. Like have some sex in public. Like, it's just it, involving parents. Is, uh, for me, it's like a disrespect. I think it's because novel. it's to it's me the thrill. To me, it's just like a whole. It's like an absolute no. Like yeah. on every level because of the parents. Because yeah. they're like it's like that's the one person I don't want to be yeah. in yeah. my business at all. I do ever. in like, that realm of my life. It's not. I, I agree. It's the parents that's weird about it. But in yeah. terms of other people in general, like there's something so hot about. Having sex with someone while they're on the phone, or I can like, understand or that. like, I can get that. Like, yeah. if I've done this yes. before, where a guy was on the phone with someone he knew, and I was going down on him, and he had to be quiet, and like, that is like super hot. Yeah, that's that I'm cool. like, yeah. totally Hostage. into kinky monster. But just like whenever it's like, oh yeah, I'll be sure to feed the cat, you know, this weekend for you, mom. <laughs> Love you, mom. Tell like, grandma I say hi. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's like, it's not gonna. But I think yeah, that's the mentality going. here. Is yeah. that it's yeah. the thrill of it. It's, it's the, the thr- I understand, but this per- this guy's like focused on the parents, which the family. He did, yeah. he did explicitly yeah. say when they're yeah. in contact Weird. with a parent in some way. But it happens, you know. Like my girlfriend's little sister caught me sucking on her titties. <laughs> Wait, let me rephrase that. Not the not the little sister. The, my you need girlfriend. To <laughs> not the little girl. <laughs> wasn't doing that. That's my number one rule. Don't touch the kids. Never touch kids. We should just fucking end the show right now. <laughs> so let me, re- all right, so like, you know, it happens. Like, you know, I was, I was you know, uh, I was milking at the teat. And having your own separate her little sister walked in and we immediately stopped. It was not a thrill, but I'm just saying, sometimes the family members <laughs> intervene. I don't think you should do that with family members. Don't do that with family members. That's not good. But um, so anyways, yeah, getting caught doing shit is fun. <laughs> just not with little kids or parents. <laughs> we get it, Tyler. You don't <laughs> Just Keep I saying just, little kids. Just wanted to go there. <laughs> Say it one more that, time. Yeah. Say it a few more times. <sighs> oh, God, dude. What the fuck, man? Oh, we're, at, we're not cutting that. That's, that's staying in. Don't touch the kids. Oh. Number one just, advocate I, for that. I don't know. I don't. Not okay. Well, you see, I, like, I understand what you're saying, and before all of that happened, I had... <laughs> I like. I was like, oh, like the stronger the line you draw on the sand, like the more tantalizing it is to like mm-hmm. be like, ooh, cross it. Like, have you ever had like sexual relations in public? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah that's, that's like pretty the same cool. thrill. It's I get thrilling. that. It's It's a turn on. It's doing something you're not supposed to be doing, and like near or next to people you're not supposed to be doing. Yeah. yeah okay. I get that. I get that. I just. I'm like all on board until he's like, I'll get you. The well, parents, the parents saying, on the yeah. phone having sex know. behind your mom is fucking weird. Yeah, like, don't, yeah, don't do yeah. That man, like, just find a random stranger to do that behind. Yeah, yeah. or like if you're like, I get if you're in like a movie theater and you're just like doing yeah. some of this shit. I actually That's caught somebody doing that one time. It was <gasps> awesome. I'll make this short. I want to go to like, I went to go see a movie uh, with some buddies of mine. Very late showing is like midnight on a Tuesday. Oh wow! And went into the theater. Nobody was there except a random guy on the very far aisle. You know, right up against the wall. As we're walking up, girl goes, boop. <laughs> it was awesome. And when we felt bad for the guy, we're like, dude, sorry, man. Like, because I don't want to interrupt that. I've seen girls giving guys head in cars before on the road. I've oh, yeah. never oh, seen that. It was in that. Los Angeles. I was in, I I think of course I was, it was in Los Angeles. I think I was in the car with Bernie and Gavin. And we were in one of those cars. It was actually like, Bernie blowing Gavin. <laughs> yeah, they were together. We were in one of those like big like SUV cars. So it was taller. You could yeah. see down. And like yeah. we were just like in traffic and I like, I just look over and I'm like, oh, whoa. 
and it was just this girl's head like this, going like this <laughs> on a guy. I'm just using you for every yeah, example. Can we, I was can, we get that right there, yeah. can we get an instant replay of that, please? I missed and, it. And, and the guy was just there, like, arm over the seat, one hand on the steering wheel, and he, like, looked over, and he saw me, and I made eye contact with him, and he just went... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, them's the ropes, yep. you know? It wasn't more of a, like... <laughs> no, he was kind of just like, well, I'm not going to stop it, but you're looking at it, so... Look away love... if you don't like it. I would love to see that in public. See? It's the thrill of it. He gets off on it. He does. Off on All right. I understand the thrill. Just uh, Listen, sir, don't do that in front of... It's disrespectful. You're right. It's rude. Well, this well, is the thing. perfect segue into our Ask Us Anything question, submitted by Anonymous, but where's the craziest place you've had sex? I or, can't say some. You can't? Why not? You can't Are say they some? here? He's like behind the always You're open like, set. I've Actually, never it had, was right here. Never had sex with this company. So I've told the story on, on other podcasts before, but the craziest place I ever had sex, Max, you probably have never heard this before. I don't know if you guys have either. Was someone else's bridal suite. Oh, do tell. What? I was with my boyfriend at the time. We were invited to his cousin's wedding and his cousin had asked him to go put something away in the bridal suite with where they were staying. It was like during the reception. And I was like, oh, I'll come with you. I'll and then come. I came with him. I'm gonna put something away Wait, with your come with you. With my vagina. Wait, with, with your boyfriend vagina. or with the other guy? With my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, God. No, me, I was like, Jesus, that's savage. It was savage. his cousin's <laughs> wedding. And okay. his cousin asked him to go up to his Ah, okay. Bed. So okay. I went with my boyfriend. And we had we christened their bridal suite before they had sex. That's pretty awesome. I was thinking the story was going to go a different route that you like got a newlywed groom, uh, no. <laughs> like without his wife, and was like, "Hey, yeah, <laughs> just walked into his room." Uh, were they? Do you know if, uh, hey, I'm if they had, if they had been, you know, doing the deed before they got married? No, everything. Oh, oh no, I think they had. They were like, not I like, not they're because then I'd be like, that's a little disrespectful. Their first time. This whole <laughs> Mariel is like, about you're all about. you guys. This is an after school special. Um, <laughs> you want to make sure everything's respectful. Everything. Keep Although it I didn't divulge this information on the podcast, but, and I obviously, I'm not going to name names, but uh, he had a case of the whiskey dick <laughs> during that moment mm -hmm. because it was a wedding, so we'd been drinking. Okay. Mm. This is not a current boyfriend, so <laughs> don't think I'm throwing anyone you know under the bus. So it's not Aaron. So no. it's not Aaron. That we know it was of. a previous boyfriend okay. that I had been with. Um, so yeah, it was like we had sex for maybe thirty seconds before oh. I was like, "Where'd it go?" <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Did you, did you say it just like that? <laughs> Hello. Where'd it go? <laughs> Most. Where is it? The world. Yeah. Oh, it's. Did it's it happen to women too, man? Yeah, yeah, you get dry. Yeah, you're just like uh, that you old know sandy what? badge. It's it's um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call it. <laughs> It's my Whiskey favorite Dick character. And Sandy in, my favorite character in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Sandy Badge. Um, but no, but it really does happen to women uh, yeah. too. Summer love and honey. Had me like a badge. Gave me a badge. It's gonna hurt. I think. Oh more. no, it does hurt. Like it hurts yeah. for the guys too, but I feel like it would have to hurt more for girls. Well, here, what happens with me is if I'm having sex for a certain amount of time and I already come. And then we keep having sex, and I'm like, I know I'm not. It's not going to happen again. Mm -hmm. And you start drying up, but you don't want to stop because you're also enjoying it. But also, you can't produce any more fucking lubrication, yeah. and then you just get sore. Yeah. See, I'm right? pretty right. right. <laughs> Those right. dicks all up inside me. <laughs> I'm pretty ADHD, so uh, if I just get bored or my attention goes elsewhere, then it's just kind of like, oh, <laughs> oh, I didn't focus. What is your preferred like lubrication, like? Mm. As far as like actual you know what, lube or like Coconut butter, oil is like, the way to go. I'll say olive oil too. Like I remember one oh, time. God. Do you sex. remember the one time when you were having gay sex? I was, actually, it was gay sex. Okay. Not like you think. I was having sex <laughs> with a lesbian. It was her first time with a man. You've always rolled your eyes at this. It was true. She's lesbian. Okay. And she was dried up because she got had sex with a lesbian the night before. The strap on. She was dry, and so we had to get olive oil. Wait, are you saying that women just? Uh, I don't understand. Olive oil? Your, I don't no, that's what she said. All right. Argument here. So she had sex with the girl before. The night before. And she was like, "Sorry, I'm too dry for your actual human penis." Yes. So go get some olive oil out of the pantry. Oh no, I improvised that. We were in the kitchen, <laughs> and so I'm like, "Here's the olive oil." Like that. That's slippery. You know what else works? 
Yeah, but it's just mm. not enough sometimes. Yeah, that, it's too that kind of goes a uh, goes away a little bit too fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it does. You gotta you gotta you're watch gonna, out. Um, yeah, I'm a very wet person. <laughs> What? W H E T. What? Can I make you hate me in three seconds? Yeah. One. Moist. Two. Moist. Ah, I like two that seconds. One. You a, like moist? I'm a moist person. Oh, you, don't, moist. you like moist. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, A, I'm a very, like, I sweat a lot. I'm just a sweaty human yeah, being. Me too. Um, so I think just like all my bodily fluids and functions are just wet. So they're like, wet. They're that's like, never, we're hydrating. Lubrication has never been an issue for me. You have the same mechanics mm-hmm. that go into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now. <laughs> just get that Kermit the Frog gift. <laughs> <Yeah, just laughs> <laughs> well, that's none of mine. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's awesome. Texas, where's the craziest place you've ever had sex? Yeah, where's, where's, <laughs> you know, can you say? I was actually back there trying to think about yeah. some of the, the craziest places. And probably one of, the, one of my first jobs that I worked at, and uh, it was at a grocery store in my hometown. Oh, Mm -hmm. There we go. I see where this is going. And there was a meat locker. (laughs) Oh! Of course there was. Of course there was. Yeah, meat locker. And uh, yeah, it was cold in there and dark, and no one really went in there after hours, and that's where I was like, oh, this could be kind of fun. But it was cold, though. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. make the warmth happen. It's hot, yeah. It was interesting. Yeah, Yeah. that's hot. So it was just kind of like that. It was a bunch of... Frozen meat, and then there was there was meat, a and then non-frozen meat. piece of meat. So yeah, yeah so that was that was uh, my, my, probably my weirdest place. Uh, but you would be surprised where people have sex. I see things happen all the time. I think people have had sex everywhere. Like yeah. if you look at a place anywhere in public or that, anywhere, yeah. it, yeah. someone yeah. who lost sex there. Yeah. Thank you so much for the drink. You're very welcome. Those this are all triples. So, <laughs> this show is all really good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This show had me laugh. I ain't driving. <laughs> oh God. Yes, I am. You know what? I like. Like if we're talking about like sex, sex, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, um, I don't <laughs> have like. Sorry, that. keep going. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I don't have like that many exciting stories there, but I was thinking of one time again in my misguided youth when uh, we went to a uh, uh, you know a Christian convention. Mm, as you do. In San Antonio. Who were you? Did yeah. you love Jesus? Did I went to know? private school from pre-K to eight, and okay. so uh, yeah. That, when did you realize damn. you were gay? Uh, should have probably realized it a lot sooner than I did, but I realized <laughs> it officially at twenty-two. But like, I mean, come Wait, on. Wait, at twenty-two? It's not that long ago. Man, God, I'm so old. You're not old. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait, twenty-two. Uh, twenty-two. That blows yeah. my mind. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, you had to have known it was, before. No, right? there you was, probably were like, I assume. Wrestling with some emotions. Not really wrestling so much as like, you know, like on the internet, nobody knows what I do. Oh, true. But in real but life, do know. I've got to get my do beautiful sh- wife. Do your straight <laughs> voice again. I've got to get my beautiful wife, <laughs> and then we are going to settle down and having, uh, have an amazing family. <laughs> it is so <laughs> off-putting when, I, when yeah. you sound like that. That's what we were going to do, and then I realized that I'm a star. <laughs> uh... <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, yeah, it was like 22 and I was like, oh, okay. And it was actually because like my like super best friend, like super beautiful and like really cute girl. And she was just like head over heels in love with me. And like every other girl that I'd been with was like super religious and she wasn't. So there was no like, there's no like Jesus buffer, like. We're going to wait <laughs> until marriage. And she was yeah. like, no, and then probably I'm more. And she's like, it's time to go. And I was like, oh, I really don't feel anything. Probably need to throw in the towel. You should be like, I had so much whiskey before this. Sorry, yeah, through babe. between every single experience <laughs> that we've ever had. Yeah, I would say that's a sign. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought I was like, I thought I was bi, and there are plenty of people who are bi, and there are plenty yeah. of people who are gay but can still have sex with women. I just like. It for me was just not really. Mm, it was not, a no. It was a no. There. Somebody did not show up ever. <laughs> <laughs> Little Max. Little, Little Max, Max did not show up. He was like Mm-mm. ever. No. And even yeah. No. I don't know. <laughs> I actually tried to date a Greenpeace girl in like college. Trying to feed someone. <laughs> and it was super awkward. <laughs> and I was just like, nope, nope, this is not happening. 
And it was like, either I'm gay or I'm in love with my ex-girlfriend. And at that point, I chose in love with my ex-girlfriend. I'm like sad for you, man. Dude, yeah. That's exciting. That's like, we're well, just like here oh, laughing and you're just like, uh, Well, yeah, I am sad. No, it's like I wish you could have had like more experiences but even being if gay he's still younger. Young, what you no, mean? I know, but I'm if saying like. If he was like you know, on his deathbed, he's like. No, oh, I like, get that. I'm By the way, I loved it. With, all, with like the 20 grandchildren that he had. And he's like, I hate all of you. Like, <laughs> you took away my gay sex life. Yeah. Like. It's not I'm even like saying that. I don't even have like super strict parents or anything that were like, no, you yeah. better not. It was like totally kind of like I don't know. Like I just kind of like some people take some a people while to of, figure yeah. it out in yeah, their they own really way. Do. Um, it's also and just the way society is. I mean, right. uh, society sucks. Yeah, so. it does. Yeah. We're getting better. We're getting a better. Bit. We see Eric a lot. If you're fucking gay, you fucking own that shit. Yeah, if you're gay, fuck yeah, man. Fucking own it. Everybody love everybody. Everybody fuck everybody. And use whatever <laughs> the fuck bathroom you want too while you're at it. Have as too. many cookies as you want. Yeah, yeah, per day. As many cookies as, as many cookies, if you can. Just shove them all up in there. Interesting. Yeah, it's pretty okay. weird. Maybe I don't shove my cookies, but I, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Just rub your cookies. <laughs> rub your cookies. Rub your cookies rub until your cookies. they're too dry to eat. <laughs> anyway, for me, uh, you guys know I like to keep it PG. That's my ML. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but you so you're like old. missionary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Carol's like the bedroom. <laughs> I've waited for. I waited. I'm gonna wait until marriage. Um, I'm gonna get married by the Catholic Church. Have a seven and a half hour ceremony. You guys are all invited. That is true. You're not lying about that. Yeah. Uh, and Roman then you're Catholic gonna have sex marriages there. And then are we're gonna have crazy sex long for the first time. Yeah, it's like a golden lasso and shit. They really are. Yeah, they got all the cool it's, shit. It's fucking crazy. It's like a marathon. You literally have to like stand up, sit down, get on your knees. Stand it's up, long. Get yeah, up, it's a long it's ceremony. Pretty dope though. I mean, they got like mm-hmm. the you know the Catholic and Church. For as much as they hate gay people, they're pretty gay. They're on their knees a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're my best friend. <laughs> But what, I mean, maybe not sex or like anything sexual. Where's the craziest place you've been when that has happened? Amarillo. <laughs> what? Hmm? Amarillo? Did I hear was that Barbarella? Did I hear Barbarella? Oh, was that a, oh Barbarella. Barbarella? Barbarella? <laughs> Again, nightclub we referenced earlier in the show. Barbarella's is where you go and you make poor choices. That's what everybody Barbarella does. Barbarella is a place where I've been going there, I've been going to Barbarella for Pretty much as long as I've lived in Austin. Um, <laughs> I said as long as I lived. It was as long the, as so they have, baby they have Tuesdays, life. and my friends and I in college would literally, we would go to this bar oh God, on every Tuesday night um, uh, during the summer. Wait, we would go to. Was it Lipstick 24? No, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, you missed Lipstick 24. It was no. so great. I So we would go, um, this was the sophomore year of, of college, and we would go to this bar called Toulouse which is like a mm-hmm. disgusting bar on 6th Street. All of the bars on 6th Street are disgusting. Oh, yeah. um, you go to Toulouse and you'd get their $5 mason jars. And it was literally like, <laughs> you'd be like, I want whatever. And they'd be like, all right, here's like 17 kinds of liquor and like something to make it not taste like liquor. And it literally would look like this, but this is delicious. Um, so you'd like scarf it down and then like. Did you ever do the pictures at Shakespeare's? Yeah. Oh, oh, five, yeah. 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 There's Thursdays at, at Shakespeare's. They still have $5 pictures. Really? You go. The uh, there was also, uh, what's the other, oh, Pure Ultra Lounge is my favorite because it was like pure. the oh, douchiest. I that Doesn't place. exist anymore. It nope. got busted in a drug running scheme. There was like seven oh God, bars like, downtown. Oh my God, that's, that's yeah. Fist and Cry, my old, my old. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was owned by the same people. Yep. But the bottom well, level of. Fly. We called it ki- Fist and Cry. Fist and Cry. Because yeah. that's where you would go that's to get what would to happen. Fist yeah. and you would cry about it. <laughs> now it's Highland. Yeah, now it's Highland. So this is at Barbarella's? It was at Barbarella's, yeah. I've had many an incident at Barbarella. Barbarella is a place where I think I like, I'm like. No inhibitions. Let's let's go there. Barbarella's also set the scene a little bit. Barbarella's is the place you go after you've been drinking yep. for a couple hours already. <laughs> yeah. You it are is, near blackout. I yeah. think they have a smoke machine every two feet <laughs> in there <laughs> that just blasts smoke all the time. You can't see yep. anything. You can't see anything. There's probably about 16,000 people in there at any given yep. moment. Everyone is drunk. Everyone's touching each other. Everyone fucking hates each other in there yep. too. But you're still like... But you're fighting. I hate you. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> you're touching. Everyone's touching. You're, you're touching sweaty. Everyone. It's, it's so disgusting. Good. It sounded like yeah. a Stefan routine. It's by you the know way. like if you <laughs> <laughs> you want to go. <laughs> There's a fog machine everywhere. Everything. Everybody hates each other. <laughs> I got they it. All want to fuck each other. Mm. It's mm. But yeah, no. Barbarella's is a place. Where so was it? Happen. Was no, it in the bathroom details, or details. was it on the yeah. dance floor? Like, give us a set the scene. She doesn't want to say, which means it wasn't in the bathroom. Oh, were you? Were you like hooking up were on a, like a dance floor type thing? Were was you, it on the roof? Were you finger blasting? They closed the roof so long ago. They don't let people up there anymore. 
after after shame. your incident. <laughs> like, Can't let people up. <laughs> They're like that bitch. <laughs> Ruined it for everyone. They really did. The roof was nice though. So anyway, what about you guys? No, your head. No, 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 no. Was it on the roof? No, it wasn't on the roof. Oh God, no. But no, they had like a second floor that they closed down, which is really. Oh, that's interesting. Where did you fuck? You're not getting out of this. Meryl, always open. Come on. I told you that my fucking wetness from my vagina looked like spider webs. Well, that's because you're a heathen cast down from Satan, and I'm a good girl. I'm a good Christian. Who fucked in a bar? So, like, let's hear it. Miss Goody Two Shoes. All over okay. that bar, honestly. Okay. Um, ah, okay. Things are happening all if you keep if you stay sober, it's the worst experience of your life to be sober at Barbarella's. Yeah. But if you stay sober, you'd be like surprised at all the things you're seeing. Okay. Because it's not necessarily a gay bar. Um, because I feel like Texas can probably vouch for this. At gay bar like gay clubs and everything, there's like all sorts of things happening at all times, mm-hmm. everywhere. Um and Barbarella's necessarily isn't that same kind of vibe, but it also is in that there's just like you can look anywhere and people are doing things that people So be you on. were traveling <laughs> around. And then Baba she went Lella. upstairs. I was just doing the Ooh, whole Barbara. We went upstairs, maybe took a third partner. <laughs> oh. Sorry, that's too much. <laughs> no. And then she flew away on her beautiful butterfly. And then I flew away from this show. All right, Tyler. We're done. I'm done. Craziest place I've ever had sex? <gasps> Craziest place. I mean, probably in the ass. That's <laughs> it. Go on. Oh, no, that's, I mean, I don't know. Craziest place? Uh, my best friend, I'm, dude, you're going to throw you under the bus. You're getting married. Your wife's going to know this shit. His name's Tyler. He's my best friend. Um, we were having a, no, no, no. My, seriously, my best friend's name is Tyler. Um, he lives in Houston. Um, look him up. Yes, look Here's him up. Here's his home address. <laughs> um, Here's a picture. This is actually, this is great. This is the craziest place, I think, I, that I know of, of somebody else having sex somewhere. So we're having it's a- you, not someone else. No, it's, shut up. Shut, 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 <laughs> shut, shut, shut your mouth. Shut, shut up. your mouth. Just I love shut you. Up. I love you. Shut up. So, shut up. house party, big house party. It was a big old two-story house, and he was with this girl, and they, he was weird. He's a weird guy. So like, didn't want to do it in a bedroom that was open or this other game room that was open. He took this girl out onto the roof where the shingles were. And then killed and her. And banged her <laughs> while overlooking the party. Oh, it's beautiful. That's really beautiful. <laughs> you think he, yeah. It's it, not it's, really uh, cool. it was, yeah. And they like, we had no idea what was going on. All of us were in the backyard. And he was just, you know, he was just, you know, fucking doing her. Uh, and looking out, and then we called her Shingles from there on. Oh. That was her name. And by Why did you call him Shingles? Yeah, you should call I, him Sexist yeah. Girls get stuck yeah, with fucking, names. I'm sorry. That's bullshit. Yeah. In my <laughs> head. I, I, I hate it. In my head, I, just, I picture, because um, I'm a bit of a romantic, so I picture that happening, and I picture them playing um, I Could Show You the World, you know, from the Aladdin. Mm-hmm. And he's you, like, yeah, tell me, princess, when did you lose We're like literally design? best friends. That's the No, you said Tyler was your best friend. It's in my head. You're my best friend now. Tyler. Called Tyler. Tyler. Oh, new world. Yeah. And she's like, oh my god, don't you dare close your eyes. It's like looking out across the crowd. <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Things yeah. To see. yeah. She's like mesmerized. But now oh. from way up here. Oh. Your it's dick's so clear. clear. <laughs> now the, they're in a whole new world. One? With you. With you. Yeah. There you go. What so about you, though? Well. What do I don't know about other Tyler? I, I seriously have not. I mean, I've had. But, okay, question. Yeah. Why a closet? Yeah, my closet. Unless it's fun. Unless it's a walk-in. And did you come I'm a pretty out? impulsive person, like, you know, like, throw somebody up against a wall type thing, and, mm-hmm. like, you know, and it, there was just a closet, and I, I needed to, I needed to ejaculate in somebody, so, like, that's what I needed to do, and that's what I did. Now, are we and talking about a literal closet, or, like, a... It was a closet. Like this a walk-in person, closet? This person had just moved into oh, the house. like a house. coat closet. I was drunk. She was, too, and then, you know. And then you're like, hang up your coat, now stay in Little, there. little P&B in the sea, you know? That was all. <laughs> Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I got where you're what? coming from. <laughs> Took me a second yeah. to put place P and V. Yeah, I wish I had a better oh, answer. See the closet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was like the cunt. But I got. Yeah, I was there. like, are we using that word? No. Mm. Never had sex. Like I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I wish I had a better answer. There's still time. Same. There's still time. Next time you come back, you better have a story. Yeah. All right. Just go crazy. We'll be asking. Not we'll be here. Following though. up. Get the fuck away from our yeah. set. Yeah, no, it was that. actually in the broadcast office. <laughs> oh, is that what that stain is? <laughs> Whoa! Gross. Cra- uh, that's crazy things happen to me while having sex. Yeah. Just not pl- place, not so crazy. Things that happen, super fucking crazy. 
but we're not going to talk about that. This we episode. didn't get to yours, did we? Well, we didn't really t- expand on it, but it was uh, it was basically <laughs> everybody else went down to go to the uh, assembly or whatever it was. <gasps> This is at school? No, this was at the, the Christian church, convention. Yeah. Oh, okay. it, it was in San Antonio. It was at like a nice hotel. Okay. Yeah. That is fucking risky. And uh, like, you know, the leaders, like they stay in like one room and then like the kids, you know, all have like their own like different rooms. They, of course, like keep it all separate, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but yeah, so we met up in like one of the leaders' rooms and all the leaders were gone. Kind of... Did some stuff in the oh, bed. Flip that hair. That is so unchristian of you. <laughs> you Barbara has to help you out. That's, but, uh, that's, that's pretty Christian. It, it was. It was. It was pretty chill. <laughs> really Wait. Okay. Christian. So, uh, sorry. I, I, I but, just, I'm curious. So you had this like Christian background, but you weren't like devoted Christian. Where you're like, oh, I'm gonna wait until marriage. To no, have sex. only when it benefited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that was actually with uh, like a girlfriend. But then, like, yeah, like, none of my gay stories are as interesting. I think, like, the most interesting gay story would have been, like, at the top of a parking garage. Woo! In right. a car. Oh, nice. in a car. Yeah, Everyone's had wow. sex in a car. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've all been there. So, upstairs at church camp. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> it was uh, it was the most sinful I've ever felt. Yeah? And I was like... But did you, like, feel joy out of that? Because you weren't supposed yeah. to be doing that. A little bit, but also, like, we didn't really do that much, but it was still, like, enough for me to feel, like, super bad. Mm-hmm. And then, like, we had to join everybody else downstairs, and it was like, what were y'all doing? And it was like, nothing. Reading the Bible. <laughs> and I was like. Bible study. I was like, I'm going to hell. It's always, like, the feeling of, like, naughtiness that you have afterwards. Yeah. Naughtiness is nice, man. It's fun. You know, and, well, and that's the funny thing is that, like, ever since, like, you know, like, coming out and, like, you know, I don't feel the same, like, crazy sex drive that I used to have when I was like, I put my mind in a little box and I'm going to go insane. I yeah. think that's just an age thing, though. I, maybe so, yeah. It is, like, it, it drops off well, know, significantly. Isn't, like, a study show, quote-unquote, I say this because nothing's true about every single human being, but male sexual peak is, like, 18 or 21 or something, and then female sexual peak is, like, 35. Mm-hmm. But not for gay men, actually. There was a thing about like sexual satisfaction among gay men, and it just keeps on going up and up and up. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and and like after being around like some of the older like gay dudes, I'm like, I can see that because like a lot of the times like they're just like they're acting like frat boys. I've also heard that like old people at old folks' homes fuck like crazy. Oh yeah, they do. They have the most STDs mm-hmm. out of any like community. Yeah. Well, I guess because no, they're like, that. listen, I'm already gonna. I'm What's gonna there. happen? Not gonna get pregnant. pregnant. What's gonna happen? Yeah. I'm gonna oh my God, herpes. Cool, that's at 90. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's move on to a happier topic. Okay. And my happy place is new clothes. Right? Like oh my new gosh. And stuff. I love new clothes, but I don't know where to go. Can you tell me anything I... more about my new clothes? Yeah, Max. Well, probably not for you. <laughs> well, they do have men's stuff. Maybe men's maybe stuff. I want to wear women's stuff. I don't know. Whatever. Tell me about your cup it. Of tea. Well, thanks to Distilled for sponsoring this podcast. Great jeans don't have to be complicated. If you're not into crazy stitching, diamonds, or embedded studs, you're not alone. Distilled offers luxury-grade denim at an affordable price. Jeans that would normally cost you hundreds, Distilled has starting at just $75. They utilize the same fabrics, factories, and wash houses as the best-known brands and designers, while skipping the markups and middlemen. Wow. The result? Pure, unadulterated denim without the retail runaround. Just go to dstld.com and see where minimalist design meets maximum comfort. They guarantee the fit and they'll ship them to you for free and give you free returns until you find the perfect pair. Mm. Distilled has been featured in Forbes, Time, and TechCrunch, as well as on Denim Clot Celebrities and GQ and Vogue. Distilled is the only place in the U.S. you could get this quality of denim for this price point. You could find their amazing selection of outerwear, Ooh, you get a new jacket. Leather jackets, t-shirts, and more. Don't look at that one. That's not from them. (laughs) Get a better one. Uh, Uh, A lot better one. Using the same principles of high-grade materials at low-end costs. I've got a pair of the high-waisted black jeans, and the fit is perfect. I've worn them on, like, four episodes, I think, and I love them so much. Go to distill.com slash alwaysopen right now to get 10% off your first pair. 
That's distilled.com slash always open for 10% off right now. Five letters, D-S-T-L-D dot com slash always open. Thank you, Distilled. Wow. I know. Hey. You'd actually look really cute in one of their little jackets. I would be so down for it. And you know what? I think I'm willing to leave the rhinestones behind. Yeah, good. Because it's not really your style. I didn't really want the rhinestone mom jeans. Just think about how hard of a boy you could be. You'd be a hard boy. You'd be the hardest boy I know. I'm really working on this whole aesthetic. It's a, it's a reboot. Max reboot the hard the the hard Max tail. the hard one. Hard, hard boy. One. <laughs> Sorry, wait, I forgot. I, I've got to have Tyler's voice. There you go. So, uh, yeah. Cool. I'm a hard boy now. Still.com. Still I can't get boners as much anymore. Oh, Just, no. That felt offensive. <laughs> I'm offended. Well, let's wrap things up with our sexpertise section, which we might rename for next show, so look out for that. Mm. Right, we name this. Um, so this question comes from an anonymous user, anonymous user. That's his name, anonymous. Anonymous. Yeah. Anonymous. And uh, this person writes, "An ex and I are trying again our relationship <laughs> after a year. She lives almost three hours away, so we only get to see each other maybe once every two weeks. In person, we talk nonstop and we get along really well. But over the internet, she barely ever responds, or only sends me one or two messages." I've tried telling her with long distance relationships, it'd be nice to have a conversation more than once a week at max, but she doesn't even try. How can I make this work? To me, this person seems like this girl might just be in it for the D. And she's <laughs> like, I'll be with you when you're here, but when you're not here, I don't really care too much. And also, I have a thing against exes. I don't think, like, I think once you're, you break up once, and like there are some people like, people that I break up and they're yeah that's how it starts uh, out right? again yeah, after yeah, yeah. a year after a year Just of being broken up that's a long time and like i don't know every ex that i've ever had any kind of experience with after post breakup has never been good so i'm only speaking for myself for yourself but have you ever been in a long distance relationship yes okay yeah and that that relationship we broke up multiple times and tried to get back together again and it was it just never worked out so i don't know i i've always like I don't burn bridges with exes, but I'm also like, get off my bridge, bitch. I never want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> you better learn to swim if you're going to burn them bridges. Yeah. I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't fuck with exes. Like, leave her alone. Get out of it. Find someone else. Yeah, I've been in long distance relationships before. And one of the most important things to have in a long distance relationship is being able to communicate with each other when you're not with each other. Yep. Because when you don't have that physical connection with someone and you're not with them and seeing them every day, the only thing you have of them is being able to talk to them, whether it's through Skype or FaceTime or even just instant message. And when someone is not willing to dedicate time to that, yeah. that kind of fucks up the relationship a little bit. And I could see where this person's coming from because that's really frustrating. Yeah, I'm all like, I don't know. It's like, it's the whole thing whenever somebody's like, oh, I'm really busy right now. It's like, well, you can prioritize your time yeah. and be like, hey, let's hang out and talk. It does or... not take a long time to give 15 minutes of your fucking day mm -hmm. to someone. Yeah. And like long term, like long distance uh, is a lot different. <laughs> yeah. Because you have to remain in constant contact. And you have to feel connected to that person. Especially if it's, if it's at the beginning or you're trying to reconcile, which this person seems like they are. Because mm -hmm. um, if it's like, you know, I've known people who have been, like, my brother was in a long-distance relationship for, like, the latter part of his uh, relationship with his wife, and they, like, would talk frequently, but not, like, obsessively every day. And they'd been together for, like, eight years. So, like, it makes sense when it's, like, we don't talk all the time, but, like, we know, like, we have we have this foundation of a relationship that we have built upon for years and years and years, so we're comfortable with that. But if it's someone who's, like, trying to get back together again, or you're, like, starting anew, then, like, you have to have that, like, constant like reassurance i guess yeah there's probably yeah. a lot of questions when it comes to that what do you think tyler have you ever been in a long distance relationship no and i gotta tell you dude ain't, it's not working out that's <laughs> uh it's no, a deal breaker i've been i've been like, yeah, uh, i've been, been in too many relationships is what i would say y'all shouldn't be together you need to stop if you guys have already broken up honestly the only reason you guys are probably together is because of that you know undeniable fear of being alone and mm -hmm. you're just trying to hold on to something even if it's short leash far leash which this is she ain't the one it's not gonna happen you need to move on you're gonna find the one is like way more than one mm -hmm. like there's a lot of the ones out there for you there's not a singular person there's tons of people that you are just best with go find that person stop doing the shit don't do long distance just don't 
That's don't. That's good advice. Yeah, I so mean, everyone has different experiences. Sometimes long absolutely, distance is yeah. your only option. Well, well kind of yeah. like Mary was saying, like if you have, like if you're in a relationship where you guys started out, you know, in the same proximity, but somebody had to move or whatever, that's different. Yeah. Because you already have that base. But if you guys have just been doing this for a while and you guys already broke up, you got to get rid of that. Move on, dude. Life is too fucking short. Go get somebody else Life that likes you and you like them. And it's going to be fine. It's going to be great. I feel like that was like the narration at the end of like a sitcom episode mm-hmm. that like I want to see the series of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've always been a huge. The co-show. <laughs> the co-show. <laughs> I've, I've always been a huge believer of you should be with someone who wants to be with you as much as you want to be with them. Right. And if you're, if you're yeah. feeling that this person is pushing back or, or pulling away from you or is not dedicating as much of their time to you as you are to them, it's going to feel uneven for the entire relationship. And whether or not it's like, when you're together in person with the person you're with and you feel the things you feel, especially like if you've dated before and it's the nostalgia factor and just like, I feel comfortable with this person, I know this person, I could be myself with this person, you're gonna focus on the good rather than the bad. But sometimes you have to remember the bad parts of that relationship to be like, this, I'm unhappy 99% of the time in this relationship, but then when we're together, it's great. Right. But everything else, it's kind of sucks and they're not dedicating their time to me. Could I give you a specific example? Because uh, I was on uh, on the spot recently, and I was talking a lot of shit about my ex. And you guys knew my ex really well. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was all in jest. You guys should know that. that that's what that <laughs> show is about. But, like, for instance, uh, my ex, this beautiful, amazing woman, still is, obviously. Great girl, She's yeah. W- probably one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. And I don't throw a r- around the word amazing a lot. She's, she's truly remarkable. You know, Things just didn't work out, but I wanted to give my entire life to this person. Like, I, I loved her to death. I thought she was the one. It was going to be it. We got a fucking dog together. You know, like, we traveled together. Like, she's in, and like, we did all these great things. Like, met her fucking parents. I mean, yeah. all of it. I remember it, how fast that moved too. It, it moved way fast. And I was never the fast guy. Like, I was always the distance guy. Oh, I'm emotionally unavailable and I'm just <laughs> going to have sex. And I don't know. I can't do feelings. What a hard life. And because I've <laughs> yes. been burned before, because you get, you get burned so many goddamn times. There's so many people out there. You guys get burned and you get fucking tired of getting burned. Yeah. You're tired of getting hurt and you're tired of being alone and you're tired of crying and all this shit. You don't want to do that anymore. So, like, with her, I thought it was it, but you know what? It didn't work out. She left. She wasn't happy. And instead of, like, you know, groveling and, like, trying to get her back or, like, this is the end of my life, you fucking move on. That's what you got to do. Usually when someone ends a relationship, they've been thinking about it for a lot longer than you realize. Oh, yeah. It wasn't, like, day of. It it had been done for a long time. So, and it's, I have no ill will towards her. She's a great person. Like, you're people. Like, it's not, like... It's funny to say it. It's not personal, if that makes any sense, it right? It really isn't. It's not yeah. personal. It's and a lot of people say like the oh, it's not you, it's me. It that's true. It that's really exactly is. what it's it is. Fucking every me. Okay, it's fucking me. Hey, but you know like what? Sometimes you know, it is you. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes, yeah. But it's not necessarily a business decision. But it, it's in that realm of like, I know I'm not going to be happy with you forever, so I have to cut ties now. It's not like I want to hurt you or anything. It's just I'm not going to be happy. Yeah. yeah. If anything, that is doing you a favor from even more heartbreak later on it in is. life. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I mean, we obviously don't want to tell you what to do, but if this person can't communicate Dump with you... Dump that bitch. <laughs> Whoa. It, that bitch. it might be time to move Dump on. Dump that bitch. Definitely move on. You will, be, you will thank yourself you, later. You deserve to be happy, and you deserve to have someone who makes you happy and who yeah. you feel different. wants to be with you. Yeah. Right, Max? I want to be with you. Forever. Flip that hair, Together, Max. forever. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I found a new love. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> You're out of the picture. Why are you apologizing to your mom? I don't know, because I'm with your the gay guy. Your mom just like, was, doesn't want you with a gay man. Yeah. She's I but who said I was gay? You did? Ooh. Multiple times today? That's true. Yeah, a lot of times, but then maybe it was all an act. Ooh. Well, it was all... audience members. <laughs> Everyone asks us every show where they could submit a question. We say it at the end of every episode. Go email us, always open at roosterteeth.com. Just put in the subject if you want to do uh, advice, if you want to do confessionals, you have a question for my first time, or ask us anything, or the worst, or have you ever, anything like that. Or if you just have a suggestion for the show, or just want to say, hey, we always check it every day. So. Send us your age, too, because sometimes, especially with the advice yeah. questions, we're always like, I wonder how old this person is. Yeah. Yeah, that, Context that, helps. That question down there would be, I'd be, interest, I'd be interested to know if they're younger, if they're in their, if they're a teenager, or if they're like or in their 20s. Or even 30s or 40s. 30s, that would be, that would be different, yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thanks for having us, Barb. And thank Thank you you. for watching. We'll see you next week. We love you. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.